What's going on, world? You already know what time it is. It's your girl, Nikki. And your boy, Dean. We are back today with another video. Tell them what we're about to get into in this video. So today we are just doing an update in pregnancy video. So we are currently sitting outside of the hospital. It's back there. Appointment starting in four minutes. So we are going to be late. But anyways, we are here. And we're going to hear all the good news that our doctor has to tell us. Right, we're about to hear all this good news. I know you guys been wanting to see or a video of a pregnancy update, so we're gonna give you guys that too and see Nikki's big belly and all that good stuff. I'm not sure if we'll be able to actually film when we're in the um, doctor's office or whatever, but I mean, we'll keep you guys updated and keep you guys posted. So we're literally about to get out of the car and run down. Well, actually, no, we can't run because we got baby Melody in here. So we're about to speed walk mm -hmm. to the doctor's office and you know let's see how this thing goes hopefully the baby's still kicking heart still beating we know that but still nice to hear from the doctor right right i right, see you guys later peace excited about your doctor visit <laughs> guess that's a yes <laughs> like what i'm tired yeah. <laughs> Here we go, here we go. I wonder what she's gonna do this time. The same thing she does every time. What is that? What is that? She just jets me. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Nikki's getting so big, guys. Like, so big. Can't wait till you see her belly. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Are you excited? All right, guys, so just got done my um, appointment. Everything went well, as suspected, as expected. Um, it's kind of hard. Got to cross the road, man. You're trying to kill yourself. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to talk. I'm out of breath. About to be late for work. A lot is happening right now. But as for an update, since the last, we kind of talked about pregnancy and all that stuff with you guys. I was really early in the pregnancy. Now I'm about six months and change, You're maybe. About to be seven months next week. Yeah, I really don't know how to do the math. Maybe I'm slow. I don't know. But anyways, I'm about to be seven just now. Um, pregnancy. I can honestly say it's been great. It's been treating me really great. Like I haven't had much sickness. I haven't felt that much pain. Except now I'm noticing that I'm obviously a lot heavier. So it takes me a lot longer to do a lot of basic things. Um, when I sleep and then I wake up in the mornings or whenever, it's like I'm learning to walk again. Like I have pain in my lower area. I don't know why. It's like my legs and, and the crease and all that stuff. Um, it's very loud. They could hear you though. Yeah, so I noticed that. I also noticed that I'm not as hungry as I used to be. Because remember, there was a point where pain, hungers, no, hunger pain would just come over me. And I wouldn't be able to control it. And I just needed to eat because I felt like I was going to die. Like, And it was happening for a couple of weeks. But that's gone now. So I'm eating normally again. Thing is, I didn't really realize that I was gaining so much weight. Like, it wasn't until yesterday I put on a pair of jeans because we went out and got me some maternity jeans because I've been wearing tights and leggings. But I put on a pair of these jeans and then I was trying to put a belt in it and I noticed that the hole that I made on the belt was like all the way at the side of my body and I was using like the second hole from the front. I was like, belts? People use those holes? But I guess I'm one of those people now, so. I'm officially fat, and that's okay. It's gonna go away because I'm gonna snap back. I'm gonna snap.
snap back to something. Just not this. I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I'm gonna snap back to something. Um, but yeah, pregnancy has been great. So far, all the good news. Like I said, the doctors didn't want us to go to Jamaica. She told me not to, but we talked it over and we decided that we were still gonna Why do it. Why didn't she want you to go to Jamaica? Oh, they didn't want us to go to Jamaica because uh, the Zika virus, but we did our research, we talked to our family in Jamaica, and they hadn't heard anything about Zika in the last how many months, years, decades, or whatever it is. So we decided that we were gonna go. I went pretty positive I don't have Zika, but she's so nervous, so she's sending me to do blood tests. We were this close from canceling our Jamaica trip, like this close. In this very parking lot. But um, we still went and now she wants me to do a test, which is fair. She's just doing her job to the best that she can. Um. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. It is winter, winter, man. We woke up today and seen snow outside. It's the first day of snow in Toronto. Super annoying. It's cold. Got my earmuffs. I'm ready for anything. But yeah. Um. Pregnancy has Oops. been great. I'm excited. I cannot wait to meet her, our little Melody. Um, looking forward to it. I'm still, still very nervous about giving birth. Yes, I am. I just she don't know what to so expect. so scared. I'm guys, very man. scared. Like, I think about it every single day. Uh, do you know that you might rip? Thank you. Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> Like people told me, like some of my friends, my dudes, they're like, yo, like if I'm gonna be in the room or not um, when she's giving birth. I'm like, hell yeah. They're like, yo, man, it's hard to stomach. Some guys like can't do it. Some guys do do it, but I'm the type of dude that I will definitely be like this. He is, and if he could hold the camera, yeah, he would. I'm definitely gonna be all up in that. <laughs> like my eyes are gonna be glued. Like I wanna see the whole thing. Like, I don't know, it's so weird though, like, like, little melodies coming from there, like, yo, I'm like, I can't wait. People say I'm gonna cry. I don't think I'm gonna cry, I'm just gonna be like, super like, I'm oh my I'm gonna god, cry. like, we created this, like, I'm definitely did gonna we cry. really do this? When did we do this? <laughs> like, well, now I know I'm gonna be like, super, um, I'm gonna be amped, like, um, who knows, maybe I might cry when I see my beautiful daughter you know when i see my little twin you know he, when i see my little twin, twin right yeah. you my twin yeah <laughs> whatever you want <laughs> right. Right, so i'm gonna be super out though but um yeah i initially wanted a boy first so you know i think every dude wants a boy first but when i found out i was having a little baby girl my whole world obviously just got mellow and i was like oh, all right I was about to be a dad. I was like, yo, I gotta start saving for the baby's wedding from right now. <laughs> I gotta start saving this, that, you know, girl. It's like, daddy, can I get a hundred million kajillion fulfillion dollars? <laughs> like, so I gotta, we gotta make sure we are A ready, like A, A level ready, right? So, I mean, we're amped, yo. Pregnancy has been super dope, though. Everyone's asking me if she's been like, um, nagging me type of thing I'm like you asking me to like leave in the middle of the night and get things i said she could never i should she could should never but no yo, she's not yo. She's, <laughs> she's super dope like we have had none of those issues none of those problems none of those like mood swings yeah like all those things people talk about like that you can expect in pregnancy i honestly don't think i really experienced any of that like yeah. the one time i got sick it was because i got food poisoning mm -hmm. um i haven't like, I used to have headaches a lot. I haven't really had any headaches. Oh, you didn't tell them about the time you got food poisoning. Yo. I didn't? No, nah, they don't even know that. Oh. You got to tell them. A couple weeks ago, maybe like three, two, nah, three months. this is like about months ago. <coughs> we went out with our friends. So we went on like a triple date with a couple of our friends. And it was during the time when I was just like experiencing that excruciating hunger pain thing. And so we went out and we were eating wings and I got my share and I ate my share, I ate my wings, I ate my fries, but I was like starving. So I was like picking from Dean, picking from them, picking from all over the place. I don't know what it was, but as soon as I finished that last chicken, I kind of felt sick. Like I kind of felt like 
oh, something's uneasy inside. But I was just like, you know what, maybe I just overate. So sitting at the table, you know, I went to the bathroom and I was like, okay, nothing's happening. So I think I'm fine. Maybe I just need to digest properly. Went home the night, slept. D and I got up the next morning. Um, we went to the store, we were buying a few things. Mm -hmm. And on the drive, I was telling him, I'm, I don't know what it feels like to be poisoned, but if I did, I think it would feel like this. And so I was like, I just feel really sick. So anyways, D had to go out that night. So I was at home, I was just laying on the bed. He left and like maybe within five, seven minutes of him leaving, I went to the bathroom and I was just vomiting. Like I was throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. And I was like, I haven't puked since I was like- A little girl literally like i don't do that <coughs> i don't really get sick so i didn't really do that um so that happened so i called him and i was like hey i'm throwing up i don't know what it is but it's okay do your thing i just wanted to let you know then i threw up again and i was like you need to come here because like i think i'm dying now because two times that's a lot um so he came picked me up brought me to my parents house and so i was there with my dad and I just kept throwing up and it wouldn't stop and by like the 10th time Dean came back from his event literally he was like 10 minutes away I think mm -hmm. came picked me up brought me to the hospital and at the end of the night I think I had thrown up maybe like 15 times so I stayed there not overnight but they let let us go at maybe like 5 in the morning or something like no, that it was like I don't yeah, know no, it was like 6 or so yeah like it was early early morning and <clears throat> so basically they told me that I had food poisoning so it was somebody's chicken that I ate. Could have been mine, could have been the ones I was eating from people. I don't know, but I happened to get a bad one. Melody did not like it, so she was trying to get all of it out. Like, I vomited, it started like orange, then it went to white, green. then green. Yeah, it, it went through the motions. Like, if we have clips, I don't know, no clips, they're terrible. Uh, Just, we're ugh. not going back to wild, 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 what's it? Wild wings, wild, wild rings. What is it? Where do we go, wild wings? <laughs> wild wings, yeah. yeah. Wild wings, I mean. <laughs> maybe, just, maybe Melody just didn't like the chicken. Maybe she didn't like the chicken, but guys, I, I had it and it was, I mean... It tasted amazing. Like, maybe <laughs> I was just being greedy, but it tasted amazing. Like, maybe possibly the best That's around the time when you were just eating way too much. I know. Like, you needed to calm down. But I was starving. <laughs> like, it's like this excruciating hunger pain that comes over you and... I, like I said, you feel like you're gonna die if you don't put something in your system right away. So I was going through that. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that, but if that's a pregnancy thing, well then I experienced that. But other than that, oh, my feet swell. Oh. My feet are swelling. It could be because of the long standing at work and all that stuff. I work with kids, so well, I'm up, a, I'm active, that's doing the most. Around these times. But yeah. You guys could see like <clears throat> her progress like from week to week, starting at like week seventeen. We might be able to put little pictures in here somewhere, no? Yeah, maybe. Show them their, their, their little pregnancy updates from like oh, week 17 or so to like where we are right now. I think they're they best at 20. Up. 20s? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, we'll show you guys something, man. You can see her little belly getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And bigger. Ah! I was like that, but yeah, Nikki got to get back to work. Got to get back. I'm going to be late. We're, yeah, super late. So, man, guys, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I know you guys want to be updated and, you know, stayed in the loop. With everything that's going on with this pregnancy, but your know, life just gets crazy, man. Like, we just had a death of my uncle and my family. That was something all in itself. Like, that, like, wrecked my family. So, we're just recovering from all of that. But, yeah, man. We promise to keep you guys on this journey. We're going to do a... Uh, show you guys our baby shower video. And then we're going to reveal the things that we got from our baby shower. So, yo, don't, don't, do not unsubscribe from my <laughs> channel please yo rock with your family nikki and dean you guys already know what time it is you're going to the top 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 up 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 all the way to the top 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 up 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 you already know what time it is it's your boy d and your girl nikki and we 